Hi, I'm Tara Shaw. Today we're in a client's living room. We stopped last week where we had their beautiful paintings anchor the space in the living room. And now we're going to talk about the hero, which is the heavily carved armoire that is purposefully tall. Now I believe in using the layering effect of tall and short, short pieces throughout the room so it looks well collected. But the tip off, and this is what I love about clients that know what they love, is they said, we really appreciate your armoire in your living room. So really that was my thread. That is what started the search for this armoire that is a one of a kind find that'll house their media in their living room. Now, right adjacent to this is a very contemporary lighting and a comfortable chair and ottoman. So what you really wanna do to have a collected home it is the use of 18th century, 19th century, contemporary, and vintage. The couple are Francophiles, and they started their collection years ago, so we had a lot to work with. This is one of their beautiful saints that was at the top of their stairwell that we also brought down to the main living space. So here he is, but he works so beautifully with this contemporary painting. On top of their limestone fireplace are 18th century Italian candlesticks. We have a John Saladano sofa that is just very minimal in lines, little contemporary stools, but one of the key elements is right behind the French sofa. This is a 17th century, 18th century console that we actually had cut to fit in the space and anchor beautifully behind the sofa so we could add library lighting. So it is uh, the 18th century walnut top. The stone base is from the 17th century. It's just, I love to see large scale pieces of furniture in a home. I think that it is such an unexpected piece as you turn the corner behind the sofa going into the dining room. If you come this way, you're going to see an incredible mirror from Italy. This is made from Italian fragments. But what I love about one-of-a-kind finds is we'll never see one like this again. It's just anchoring the space beautifully over a minimal Swedish bench. You're going to see the art that we brought down from the top of the stairwell that anchors the two walls as you enter into the living room from the foyer. There's a Swedish daybed, and what I use daybeds for is to keep a space open, and it allows you to see through from the foyer all the way to the uh, beautiful mantle. I talk about this in my book, Soul of the Home, it's really, it's a mixture of new and old that makes your home feel collected. It tells your story, your biography of your own journey and your collections. Thanks so much for joining me today.